Okay, cool. Here we are at uh, the Corth Highlands. We're going to do the Mississauga River today. Um, pardon the noise. There's just like some boat refilling someone's gas tank or something like that. But I've been waiting for a while for it to stop. It has not stopped. So here we go. Um, we just have to start off today with a bit of a urban portage, if you will, just across the dam. Um, we've never been to this part of the park before. In fact, we just got our new um, river boat, yay, which I will introduce you to in a second here. Um, so we're pretty stoked to try that out. We've only used it one other time and we went on the Grand River between Cambridge and Paris and Southern Ontario. Um, so yeah, pretty stoked to get going. We're gonna be spending one night out on the river. Um, so yeah, campsite looked pretty cool in the photos, so can't wait to check that out. We only have 5K to do, or sorry, 6K to do today, and then we'll have another 10K to do tomorrow um, to go to the takeout, so it's pretty cool. Hopefully we'll be able to maybe run some of these like swifts or mini rapids. We're not gonna bite off more than we can chew. Sorry, pardon me, there's like a bunch of flies. And uh, gypsy mods, so look out. Ah. Um, yeah, so can't wait. I'm just at the uh, put it all by myself here. Matt is driving the car down to the takeout and his mom is uh, graciously helping us today. She lives in the area so she's also down there with him and she's going to drive him back up here. That way when we're all done tomorrow we can just take out and put the canoe back on the uh, car and head out of here. Awesome. Well, I guess I'll just wait around. Hopefully not get attacked by too many more bugs and gypsy moths. Ooh. <laughs> All right, cool. So, whew, we just went through the first like maybe three kilometers of the river, um, did a couple portages. They were all sort of right in a row, like, you know, when you have to put in, you can see it eight feet away, but hey, we got that done. Yeah, so nice quiet part of the river here. Just take two seconds to uh, provide an update. Hopefully I'll be able to capture some more action uh, going forward. But yeah, we were kind of tied up behind some other people there. So we just wanted to make sure we just plowed forward. Um, but yeah, so we're just uh, looking out for the next portage and we'll see what, uh, what lays ahead. Heron is our spirit guide. We see one every trip and it's usually the first animal we see. It's a meaningful animal to us. <laughs> okay. Whew, I think we're on our possibly fifth and uh, final portage for the day. We still have a little bit, maybe like 2K or so to go until we get to our site. Um, okay, no big deal. I don't think, well, like I said, there's no more portaging, so that's great. We pretty much saved all the heavy lifting for tomorrow when uh, we didn't have to drive here and we're hoping for a nice early start. Uh, the good thing though is uh, it's late, so late, till about nine o'clock. So I think we have plenty of time to set up our camp and get all everything in order and get a fire going, make some dinner, which I could really use an early dinner right now. Whew. There they are. Yeah, it's just shallow. see any like major obstacles just that in the water there sticking out yep 600 we have arrived 
know there's a caterpillar. There's definitely caterpillars. Ah, oh, dang. Guess we could put our tent there? Yep. Sweet. Okay. A bug shelter? Over there. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, cool. Well. Maybe down there even. Oh, true. Okay, perfect. Sounds good. Well, hey, let's get cracking. Oh, yeah. Not too bad. Oh, there was the one I was kind of worried about. But nice. I'm worried about it. Yeah. Cool. So, yeah. this is our new uh, new boat that we got. It's uh, the Prospector Sport. Um, it's in a skeef and it's made out of T4 Max. Um, yeah, this uh, we thought would be a good idea to get one of these. It's a little more versatile um, to do things like rivers and, uh, you know, a little more durable. Um, we do also have our Swift Prospector that is lighter and definitely better for lake trips and multiple portages. Um, but yeah, so this is not its maiden voyage, but second to maiden voyage. Uh, like I said, we went to the Grand River yesterday in southern Ontario and uh, paddled that. But yeah, this boat's pretty cool. It's uh, much heavier than the Swift Prospector. They're both 16 feet, so pretty much same capacity. This one just has a higher wall by about an inch and a half. Um, and obviously it has a thwart, whereas our other uh, boat didn't. So yeah, we're just getting used to this. We like it a lot so far. Um, yeah, hopefully we'll be able to do a lot more really cool things with this one and just keep switching it up between this and the Swifty. All right, we're just chilling. We set up the uh, the bug shelter today because we thought it would be like bug season, but what we were not really thinking of were these gypsy moths, uh, caterpillars. And yes, these are mostly inside the bug shelter. Some of them are outside, but uh, for the most part, they're still getting in. They are everywhere you look, on every single tree, every rock, like every twig, they're just absolutely everywhere. And they crawl up your shoes, up your pants. Oh my gosh, it's like, it's a lot. <laughs> it's okay, they seem to be leaving the dog alone. They just, uh, it's the, the big flies that like to get her. Let's see, yeah, everywhere you look on the ground, right by Starbucks Paw, there's like all kinds of them. Look, there's crawling up the canoe pack. They're like all over the ground, all over the bug shelter. It's absolutely insane. Nowhere is safe. Now that the wind's died down, and the old mosquitoes might be coming out. Great. <laughs> That's great. We finally just found a spot that we thought was free of these caterpillars. Wrong. Free of deer flies. Wrong. Now the mosquitoes are coming out, you say. <laughs> Man, so we're just chilling out here. It sounds like it's raining right now, but I mean, obviously it's not the rain. It's these bugs, it's these caterpillars. They're like, I don't know if they're pooping or if they're just falling out of the sky. I know they are falling out of the sky. I've seen it happen, but yeah, check this out. They are just absolutely every single branch and leaf and twig on this poor little tree. Here. Look at these bad boys. They're absolutely everywhere. And of course, you can't squish them with your fingers because their little hairs are poisonous. <laughs> That's okay, we got a pretty nice view right now. The sun's going down. Time to start a fire and make some food. Mm. Yeah, we finally got this baby going. Oh. There have been 
quite a few bullfrogs out here today. It's actually kind of cool because we could see one earlier. His belly or his throat was uh, bright white when he was making his sound. We finally got fire going. No birch bark to be found around here, which is classic uh, reach style, but just grab some uh, dried out pine leaves, pine needles, and they worked perfectly. All the wood around here is nice and dry, so we actually really lucked out. And then of course we have our bush stove going over here so we can make some uh, some soup for dinner. It looks like it's still pretty light outside when we looked at the clock and it was like 9 o'clock. So uh, yeah, we thought it was probably time to make some food. And uh, yeah, I guess just call it a night because we have a big day tomorrow. 10k doesn't sound that much, um, but we do have I think six portages to do, one of which is the longest one of the whole trip. Um, but I mean, hey, no big deal, we'll, we'll survive, but um, yeah. I'm just really tired today. Just, yeah, for such a small, for such a short day, it was only five kilometers, but I mean, I just, yeah, I just feel really tired today. <laughs> Ooh. Good morning to you too, Mr. Toad. Good morning from the Mississauga River in the Corth Highlands. Um, that was a nice night last night. Uh, the frogs were out, they were super loud, um, which was the only only thing we could hear, so that was nice. It was a nice cool night to have a sleep. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty stoked to be up today and hit the rest of this river. Um, I think we have like five portages to go, something like that, which is like no big deal. Um, we have the longest one of the trip coming up first thing this morning. So once Matt uh, gets out of bed and we get some food going, then hopefully we can start that sooner than later. I'm just excited to see more of the server, see what uh, what it looks like out here, because so far it's been really nice and I'm excited to see the rest. All right, this is a little preview of our trip. We, um, obviously we started right here at the put-in and you kind of saw a little bit of that uh, dam there that we had to uh, walk across. Um, so we have paddled and we are staying at camp number 600 here. So overall it is pretty close to the top, um, but uh, it looks really nice in the photo. So we thought we'd give it a shot. So we do have from here all the way down to here to go today. And let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, oh God. Yeah, we have 11 portages to do today. That might suck, but uh, that's fine. So I guess I kind of got my math wrong. I thought maybe there were like 11 portages in all. So I told Matt that there was only five more to do today. So here he comes back and now I get to tell him there's actually 11. Hmm. <laughs> Be 
crazy? You be crazy? Oh my God. <laughs> oh my god. Hey Manny, I have to tell you something. What? It actually is 11 portages today. I knew it. Oh shit. <laughs> So we've got everything all packed up, which was a feat in its own with all these caterpillars on everything. It was absolutely crazy. We had to wear, we had to wear the work gloves and just like shake everything off um, super quickly and then just stuff it into sacks. Um, so we got that all done. Everything's all set to go. It's still a little bit all over the place. Um, but yeah, we'll just, we'll throw it in the canoe soon and head on out of here. Oh my gosh. If it weren't for these caterpillars, I'm telling you, this would have been absolutely perfect. There are big flies, there's mosquitoes, we saw like three different ticks too. Um, so plenty of things to look out for. But yeah, this was a super awesome site. We had a good night. Um, and yeah, we're excited to see what the next 10K of the river is gonna look like. Hi, Bucky. You ready to get out of this place? Get rid of all these caterpillars? And that's why we're doing a 577 meter portage. <laughs> Those were some uh, pretty crazy portages all in a row there. Let me see if we can crash this way and check out these beautiful falls. It's really cool. Ah, here we go. Yeah, friends, behold. Look at that. That's amazing. But as you can see, our next portage is only maybe like 100 meters away, not even. That's kind of in the theme so far. Right now we're just like portage hopping. So, all right, looks like Matt's here with the, uh, the boat. We're all set to go. So I gotta get back, gotta get on it. All right, cool. Look at this. There's two sets of rapids here, that's so awesome. There's this huge, fast flowing one. And then we have that nice majestic kind of layered one over there. That's so neat. Wow. And look at that, the next portage. <laughs> Again. Oh my God, okay, this river trip, great idea. No complaints, loving the scenery, loving the time. But holy man, we are just going from one portage to the next here. Whew. All right, well, here we go. Hey Maddie, look I have two bugs on my hands. <laughs> one look at, one yeah, look at that.
We still have six more portages to go today, um, but I guess that just is what it is. So we'll get through that. We're just in a nice calm spot right now. It seems to be about maybe two and a half kilometers of paddling, which is such a nice break today. Uh, the deer flies have just been with us, or possibly horse flies, I'm not sure, um, have just been with us on end here. They're like not leaving even if we're in the water. So that just adds to the experience. That's okay. <laughs> it's still really nice out here though. Yeah, watch to the left. Yeah, this looks good. Just waves in the middle, that's it. Yeah. Awesome. Wee, this is fun. Now we're getting back in the park. Woo! Ooh, waterfall, dang. Whoever wrote these signs, like, I'm telling you, to waterfall from ahead. <laughs> what? Huh, cool. Ta-da! Oh, this is a big drop. That was great. Whew. Woo! Paddle? Oh my god. Oh my god, we did it. I am so proud of us. I am so stoked. We did 11 portages today, so 17 portages in the last two days. And uh, we also did the Grand River in Cambridge the day before, so I am thoroughly exhausted. Um, dear boss, I will not be productive on Monday. Joking. Uh, yeah, so we're just uh, with the car back at the takeout here. Matt's just uh, cooling off a little bit in the river. Come on, buddy. Start back, come on. Matt's just cooling off a little bit in the river before we go. He's, he's just really hot. I mean, poor guy I had to carry this big heavy boat around. Um, but yeah, no, I'm super proud of us. I'm super stoked. Sorry that you guys always get to see my hair looking so good. Um, but yeah, I can't wait for the next adventure. I think our next one planned anyway is uh, Maggie Lake in Algonquin. So we're going to go for a little hike. Uh, but yeah, hopefully something will pop up before then. We can get a chance to do that. Cool. Hope you guys have a good time adventuring outside. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.